In this video, we will show the steps to install the ironclad fence alarm system. We start with the basic tools needed. Before we begin installation, inspect the entire fence line. Check for any broken or loose sections. Remove anything hanging on or leaning against the fence. These could interfere with the installation. Before beginning installation, find and tighten any loose fence parts. Ensure the fence is stable and secure before you proceed. Next, choose the location for the fence processor. From there, pull the sensor cable and secure it along the fence. Anchor one end of the cable so it stays in place. Have someone else get ready to pull the cable along the fence. Pull the sensor cable along the ground, covering the entire zone. Then lift the cable and secure it to the fence, tying it off section by section. Secure the cable at each turn and corner. This keeps it snug against the fence base. Next, secure the cable to the fence using the supplied metal twist ties. If you don't have them, not recommended, you can use black zip ties instead. Place a tie every 12 inches, 30 centimeters for optimal performance. Ties spaced farther apart can cause false alarms or missed detections. On a chain link fence, count four mesh diamonds between ties to measure 12 inches, 30 centimeters. Position each twist tie vertically so it pulls the sensor cable into the low point channel between fence diamonds. As you pull the tie tight, twist it to lock the cable in place. Ties should be snug enough to prevent the cable from sliding inside the tie, but don't over tighten. When securing the cable around poles, leave a two finger gap. This slack lets the cable move with the fence in windy conditions. Position the cable in the low point groove of the chain link fence. This channel holds the cable snugly against the fence material. Follow that low point line along the entire fence to keep the cable level and straight. On the far end of each fence panel, Pull the cable taut and secure it with the second twist tie. Then evenly space and fasten the remaining twist ties across the panel. Sensor wire stripping process. One, measure and mark two inches, 50 millimeters from the cable end. Two, use wire cutters to cut through the outer braid and foil at the mark. Three, peel back and remove the braid and foil shield to expose the inner jacket. Four, trim the braid and foil about about an half inch, 12 millimeters, from the jacket edge, then fold them back over the jacket. Ooh. 
five, measure and mark quarter inch, six millimeters from the folded shield edge on the inner insulation. Six, score and strip that insulation to reveal the clear sensing conductor. Seven, inspect for stray shield strands. Ensure braid and foil are neatly folded back. Eight, clean the bare conductor, removing any foil or braid debris. Nine, inspect the ground braid to ensure all strands are intact and neatly positioned. 10, strip the insulation from the central sensing conductor. Eleven, confirm you now have a clean shield bundle and exposed sensing wire ready for termination. After installing the sensor cable and stripping the wire ends, install the end-of-line termination units, RB RBM CTRs. Each unit requires a 1 mega ohm resistor, no substitutes. The box includes cover screws, wire clamps, and a resistor. Always secure the end-of-line termination unit to the fence with the cable entrance facing down. Tighten the cover to prevent water leakage into the box.